Hello, welcome back to Gear Junkies TV and the new video. Today we have the Behringer System 100M complete with new modules. So Behringer has finally released all the modules in their System 100 range and in an earlier video we already described six of the modules and we'll mention them quickly in this video. The focus here is to uh, show you all the new modules, what they can do and how they sound. By the way, uh, you can stay informed about all our videos by subscribing to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video and hit the bell button to get notifications when there's something new on our channel. After we take a look at the modules, we will build a patch with them and let you listen for yourself how they sound. You can find the patch build in a PDF that can be downloaded with the link below the video. So I've built all the modules in the Behringer Eurorack case, which has uh, plenty of room, as I already had a Neutron and I like to combine it with the 100 series. This is also in the rack and I gave it a matching color skin, uh, which was made by uh, Heiner Kron from Finland. You can find the link to his uh, overlay site uh, below too. Um, let's take a look at the first modules. Uh, they, that pairing released. That's that was the 1012 uh, dual VCO, the 121 v dual VCF, 130 dual VCA, the 173 uh, gate module, uh, the bearing 140 dual envelope, and the 150 sample and hold random noise module. First we have the 1A2 uh, sequencer. Uh, this is dual row 8 node sequencer. Um, it has a CV out for row 1 and for row 2. You can uh, use it in parallel or in series. There's a step number button so you can uh, choose whether to play the first uh, 2, 1, 3, 4 etc. nodes until the final complete 8. And there's one gate out, there's a tempo control voltage in, a trigger out and a trigger in. It has uh, three modes, repeat where it continuously runs through the sequence, step where it uh, steps when there's a trigger in, and there's the single when you just press the button it will just play a single note. Well the last mode is very handy if you want to tune it because it doesn't have any quantizing you uh, will need to adjust all the notes manually, for instance by using a tuner or by ear. So you can go through all the, um, all the rows with the start-stop button and let, let you listen to individual uh, settings of the, of the pot meters here. Then there's the tempo uh, pot meter, there's a delay and there's a gate time. Next, uh, the 1110 synth voice. So this is a complete uh, synth voice consisting of an oscillator, um, uh, a, a low-pass filter and a VCA. So it's not a complete voice in a sense that it doesn't have any envelope, but all the other three components are, are, are there. And like the dual oscillator, the oscillator has a triangle, soft food, and um, pul pulse outputs, and the pulse width can be uh, uh, manually adjusted or through a uh, modulation input here. Uh, there's a, a range uh, button, the pitch, and there are two modulation sources in. Uh, if you use one of them uh, to the full um, range, it will it will uh, track one volt per octave. Then um, it's normal into the uh, uh, filter, which has cutoff and resonance, and it also has two modulation inputs. So you can use it to, uh, for instance, with an LFO, an envelope to trigger the filter. It's also normaled then into the VCA. And the VCA has a high and a low output and an initial gain. And again, it has also has two modulation inputs. So there are also separate outputs. So you can um, go directly from the, from the VCO and from the filter into another section of your modular. But if you don't patch anything, the signal will run through the will run from the VCO through the VCF, through the VCA to the rest of the synth. So in order to uh, create a synth voice with it, you would also need an envelope to trigger the the VCA and maybe also the VCF. 
Let's take a look here at the 297 module. This is a dual portamento and a mixer module. So there on the right there are two uh, portamento sliders. You can use it to uh, to adjust the pitch of the of the system. And the mixer here is quite complex. It has four inputs. It has inverted outputs and non-inverted outputs. And there's a plus 10 volt output, so you can uh, create several offsets. Um, there are two of them, so it's, it's, uh, they're exactly the same. And uh, what they're primarily intended for is to create a complex modulation signal by combining various inputs, maybe with an offset, to, uh, to steer one of the other modulation uh, uh, destinations in the synth. Then there are two other new modules. Uh, this one is the 172. It is a, a phase shifter, audio delay and LFO. So um, first you have the phase shifter here with the signal in and out. It has a modulation intensity, shift frequency and resonance. And the audio delay has a, a, a modulation intensity, delay time and resonance as well. So the LFO here is normal to the modulation intensity here. So if you don't use an external modulation signal, you can use this one to uh, bring a little more life into the phase shifter and audio delay. Uh, the phase uh, shifter uh, resonance, when you turn it really far up, it uh, creates some kind of uh, harmonic distortion. Um, the audio delay is more of like a, a chorus effect, so it's a really, really uh, fast delay. Um, you, the delay time can be varied, of course, but it will stay um, almost like a, a chorus all the time. So you can uh, create some interesting uh, doubling effects with, uh, with using this. There's also a gate delay, and this is controlled uh, by these three knobs. There's a threshold, delay time and gate time. So uh, depending on the setting of this, the gate delay gets triggered and it creates a gate out. And you can uh, create the length of, uh, you can manipulate the length of this uh, gate out and also the delay time. So you can use this for instance to create um, a delay gate that triggers one of the other VCAs to create um, a, a, a delay effect or maybe shift the stereo image. There is the final module here. This is the 305 and this is a, a, a four channel mixer. So you can use it to, um, to mix four different signals and pan them each individually, um, ranging from left to right. And there are uh, jack outputs which uh, produce line level and there are um, um, smaller outputs that you can use to uh, uh, patch into uh, another part of your modular. Then here's a, a parametric EQ section. It has four bands and you can adjust the band width per, uh, per channel and it goes uh, minus 12 to plus 12 dBs up and down and here you can manipulate the frequency of all the four bands. There are two outputs and there's an input. And it's also normal to uh, channel one of the mixer. Finally, uh, this can come in handy. There's a, a built-in uh, oscillator, which you can uh, put to uh, three different frequencies, 220, 440 and 880 Hertz. And you can mix it with the, the, the total signal for instance, to, uh, to tune your synthesizer. So let's uh, take a look at the patch I built with the new modules. I try to keep it uh, simple and use only the new modules. So let's go over them. Um, first of all, I used the 182 sequencer. And as I mentioned before, this is not quantized. So it's a little bit difficult to get uh, the tuning right. Um, so don't pay too much attention uh, to uh, the pitch uh, of the notes being played. Uh, I used the left row for pitch and I used the right row to uh, control the filter. Um, which brings me to the next module, the sequencer. Pitch is patched into the uh, 110 module, which consists of uh, the synth voice and um, it controls the pitch of the oscillator. 
then it goes internally into the filter and via the VCA to the output section here. I used the gate of the 182 sequencer to control the envelope of the, of the VCA. So you'll see that here. And then it goes into this uh, multiple. And I did that because I wanted to show you how the uh, 172 module sounds. So I um, multipled the audio directly into the output mixer. And this goes through the equalizer, which I will let you listen to in a moment. And then I have three channels here. Um, so besides the equalized signal, I also have a separate channel for the phase shifter and for the audio delay. So I will start the sequence and um, let you listen to the phase shifter signal first, then the audio delay signal, then I will pan them, and finally we'll, uh, it will be joined by the equalized signal um, to form the complete audio. Let's go.
also put the portamento a bit higher so you get this nice pitch here, sweeping effect. And I played around with uh, the filter, which, um, as I said, was modulated by row two of the sequencer. But of course, you can also operate it manually. And I let you listen to the three different waveforms that come from the 110 VCO. The pulse width modulation was uh, uh, controlled by the built in LFO of the 172 module. And I uh, turn a little bit this knob here and that controls the amount of uh, pulse width modulation that comes from the LFO. Finally, I did something with the envelopes so you could hear a slightly longer tone. I will uh, play the sequence again and go through the range of the VCO to let you listen to how that sounds. <laughs> So for the final patch today, I uh, decided to use all the modules of the System 100 and uh, build a bit of a more complex patch with it, because we know you like your spaghetti patches here. Um, let's go over it quickly. Uh, in addition to the synth voice and the other new modules in the previous patch, I now patched in the dual VCO, dual VCF and dual VCA. And I ran their signals into the gate switch. And the gate switch is controlled through the sample and hold clock, which goes into the gate delay of the 172 module. And I panned the signals to uh, channel three and four left and right to create some kind of stereo effect in addition to the running sequence from uh, the synth voice. Uh, row two of the sequencer controls the pitch of the dual VCO section and row one controls the pitch of the synth voice. Um, I added some LFO signals to the filter frequencies to create more of a modulating sound. And I ran the synth voice through the phase shifter and the audio delay into channel one and two of the mixer. So I'll start with the three note uh, sequence that is running now. And um, once I've turned up all the signals, then I'll move to the eight note sequence. Let's go.
Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, you can also subscribe to our channel, of course. If you have any questions uh, or you want to know anything else of this uh, system, please uh, put it in the comments. I will try to get back to you about that. See you next time.